Hey everyone, it's Imad. If you're tired of feeling overwhelmed and stressed at your workplace, it might be time to revamp your desk setup. Your desk setup should be a place where you look forward to going to every day to get some work done, and if yours is messy with a lot of extra things that you don't like or use, it's definitely time to change that. In this video, I will show you how to create the perfect minimalist desk setup that will help you declutter and simplify your workspace. So let's get started. The first step to creating a minimalist and clean desk setup is to remove any unnecessary clutter. You can start by clearing everything off of your desk and only adding back the essentials. Also remember to give your desk a good wipe down after you've removed everything off of it to keep it nice and clean when you're putting the essentials back on. Consider investing in a desk organizer to keep your papers and other office supplies in order. A desk organizer or shelf is also great to hide those extra cables that you just can't keep out of sight. Speaking of cables, another part of the decluttering process isn't to just keep your desk clean, it's also to remove those cables from dragging across the floor and dangling behind your monitors on your desk. An easy way to remove cables is to go cable free with your peripherals and speakers. Look for a wireless keyboard and mouse, there's plenty of solid options for both out there. You can also get some Bluetooth speakers to save you from extra cables connecting to your monitors and down to the power outlet. Now what about the cables you just can't avoid? For these cables, get a cable rack, some surge protectors, double-sided tape, and cable ties. All of these you can find on Amazon and you can hide the rest of your cables using them right under your desk. You don't have to make your cables completely invisible, just try your best to keep them out of sight and not all on the floor. Another way to declutter your workspace is to go paperless, or at least minimize the amount of paper you have on your desk. Consider scanning important documents and storing them on your computer or in the cloud. This not only helps with organization, but also reduces your environmental impact. The right desk can make all the differences in your workspace. Look for a desk that is simple and functional. Choose one that has enough space to fit your computer and any other necessary work tools, but not too big to overwhelm your space. When it comes to choosing a desk, there are a lot of factors to consider. You'll want to think about the size and shape of your workspace, as well as your personal style and preferences. A good place to start is to measure the space where you'll be placing your desk to ensure it fits properly. Another important factor is the material of the desk. While wood is a popular choice for its durability and timeless look, there are many other materials to choose from, including glass, metal, and even bamboo. Consider your budget, style, and maintenance preferences when choosing the material of your desk. My personal recommendation for a desk would be a Sistan desk. I personally own one from Autonomous and have had it for almost 3 years now. Sitting for hours isn't the best for a body, so having the option to stand for an hour or two during your workday will benefit your health immensely. You can also make your own Sistan desk by grabbing motorized legs off Amazon and table tops off Ikea for example. If you guys already use Sistan desks, let me know how often you use the standing feature down in the comments. Good lighting is crucial for a productive workspace. Invest in a desk lamp that provides natural light or consider placing your desk near a window for some real natural light. Avoid harsh overhead lighting that can cause eye strain and headaches. I think it's great to have multiple light sources. I get mine from my Nanoleaf panels, Philips Hue light strips, monitor light bar, and the Govi Glide. All these light sources help me create a nice vibe in my desk during both day and night. The benefit with having multiple lights is that you can always adjust your liking and settings as well. During the day I like to have all the lights on but at night I might just have two or three. The light source I always have on no matter what is a monitor light bar from BenQ. A monitor light bar should be a must have for any desk setup as it provides great lighting without taking any space or putting any glare on your monitors. Lighting can be pretty hard to get right and I'm always looking for ways to improve. But to get the perfect ambiance at your desk, lighting is key and I'll be sure to link down the products I use in the description for you guys to check out and use in your setups. Your chair is another important factor in your desk setup. Choose one that's comfortable and supportive to prevent any strain or discomfort during long periods of sitting. Consider a chair with adjustable height to ensure it fits your desk and your body. When it comes to choosing a chair, there are many options to consider. Look for one that provides good lumbar support as well as adjustable armrests and seat height. You may also want to consider a chair with a breathable mesh back to prevent sweating and discomfort. I use the Ergo Chair Recline from Autonomous. It's a really comfortable chair that also matches very well with my desk. I love the headrest it has and the mesh back to help you stay cool for however many hours you're sitting on the chair. I've been using this chair for over 2 years now and have never experienced any sort of pain or discomfort after long hours of work. So invest in a good chair. It'll allow you to be productive for long hours without feeling uncomfortable. Now that you have decluttered and got your desk, chair, and lighting down, it's time to organize your desk. When organizing, try to only have the essentials and not anything extra that's going to take up space. Make sure to keep everything in arm's reach and also have decent space in between all your desks accessories. This will prevent you from accidentally knocking something over and damaging your desk or other desk accessories. Some great accessories to help keep you organized are a tech case, pen holder, and a large desk mat. Having stands to put your iPad or MacBook on also helps by keeping those devices at eye level and preventing them from taking any extra space. I'll have a video going more in depth covering some of the desk accessories I use so subscribe to know when I upload that video. Finally, add some personal touches to your workspace. 
Consider adding a plant or a photo to bring some life to your desk. Just make sure to keep it simple and not too cluttered. When it comes to personalizing your workspace, the possibilities are endless. You can add a pop of color with a flashy keyboard with a cable if you'd like or add some figurines of your favorite TV or movie characters. To personalize my setup, I added this floating light bulb to give it a unique look and I also decided to put one of the extra Xbox controllers I had on a stand just for show as Xbox is my favorite gaming console. On the shelves on top of my desk, I have some boxes of a few cool pieces of tech I've grabbed over the years and some Funkos. Like I said before, the customization options to personalize your desk are endless. Just remember to keep it simple and not too distracting as your workspace should be a place of focus and productivity. And there you go. By following these steps, you can create the perfect minimalist desk setup where you will enjoy working on and look forward to every single day. Some steps I mentioned in the video I need to practice myself and I will be working on creating my own minimalist productivity desk setup which I'll definitely make a video on in a couple of months, so stay tuned. I plan on upgrading quite a few items I currently have and I'm thinking of giving them away. So if you're interested in a potential giveaway, let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my TikTok and Instagram for more tech and lifestyle content. That's it for me today and I'll see you all in my next video. Have a great day.